What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the bench and today we are going to do a video on breaking down essentially what is the difference between a muzzle brake and a flash suppressor and a compensator and a suppressor and a deflection device. All these different things that you're able to attach to the muzzle of your rifle to essentially increase its performance in different ways. All right guys, so before we dive into this, if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time I upload new content. Do it, seriously, right now, do it, hit it. So how do you choose what is the best one for you? Well, we need to know a couple things. One, what are you using it for? Right? How do you shoot? Are you just self-defense? Uh, are you doing it in competition? Are you doing it for hunting? Are you doing it outside? Are you doing it inside? All those things will change what really, what is your proficiency in shooting? Dare I say that there are some choices here that will help the new shooter more than they will help the experienced shooter. Um, all those different choices will impact what works best for you. So let's just start off basic what we've got. So we, you have got your muzzle brakes, you have your flash suppressors, you have your suppressor, you have your compensators, and then you have your sound forward or blast deflectors. What's the difference? Everyone is probably familiar with this. Pretty much every AR that you get is going to have this threaded onto the barrel. An A2 style flash hider. In reality, it's not entirely a flash hider or a flash suppressor. It is what we would call a hybrid. It is a mix between the two. And that is explained by the bottom here. Now a true A2 is like this. It goes all the way around. See those slots go all the way around. And what that does is it suppresses your flash because if you, oh, uh, you know, like as that powder and those gases exit the barrel of your rifle, there's a tremendous amount of force and energy that's expelled with that. And that usually comes out in the form of a fireball. So what this does is this allows that gas to port out through the top so you don't end up with that flash signature that uh, you would get. On the other hand, you have a muzzle brake. So something like this is a good example of a muzzle brake. We set it up in the rifle like this. It's ported on the side. Sometimes it may be ported on the top, kind of like this one, right? And what this is designed to do is to tame the recoil and the muzzle jump, okay? So by allowing that gas to expel in a directional way, right? So right now it's gonna be coming out on the sides. On this one here, it would come out on the sides and the top to, so imagine if you're shooting it, that gas is coming up, your gun wants to shoot up, it's going to keep that muzzle directed more towards this, this center, so you are taming the recoil. The downside to these are they are way louder than these. Let's go on to a suppressor. A suppressor reduces the recoil just by the merit of trapping the gas and preventing it from expanding, right? All that gas is housed within this device. So the recoil is impacted thusly by not allowing it to expel out of the end and cause the muzzle to flip or jump. So a suppressor is essentially a recoil device that will allow you to better manage the recoil in addition to the sound or the signature of your firearm. Now going into a sound forward device and or a blast deflector, much like these, you see these primarily on AKs um, or very, very short barreled rifles like a 300 Blackout or something like those. What these are designed to do is they don't change the recoil, they don't change the sound, they just 
kind of like a megaphone, right? It directs the sound in a certain area that will direct that sound downrange away from you towards your target. These are good for close quarters, obviously, because you're directing the sound also when you go to the range. Um, that sound is not projected left and right, so you're not blowing out the eardrums of the guys to the right and left of you. Instead, you're shooting that sound downrange. The next one, let's talk about a compensator. So there is a little bit of, I guess, confusion as to a compensator. They're essentially a muzzle brake that is designed to prevent the muzzle jump and not the rearward recoil. Essentially, they do the same thing they're managing your recoil whether it's up and down or back and forward they are directing the gases in a way that will ma allow you to better control the rifle a good example of a compensator would be this so this is on the ar9 and you can see it has those holes drilled out those ports on the top to keep and on the side so at the nine o'clock and three o'clock position so all the way from nine to twelve to three it's ported out to keep that from shifting left and right and up okay so it will allow that gun to stay more down and on target as we're shooting again much louder than if we were to put something like a muzzle brake on it but we're able to control the recoil better. So an odd one here is this, All right? So if any of you are AK guys, you know this is an AK muzzle brake, right? It's not a flash hider, it's a muzzle brake. And these are designed to sit at an angle to the barrel. So um, that notch right there would be our top position. So as you're looking at this, that is actually gonna sit at an angle and why is it set up at an angle because the AK design along with the rifling of the of the barrel and this will keep that gun from moving so it is a, a perfectly tuned muzzle brake based for the AK platform if you tried and put this on um, well, you wouldn't be able to because it's threaded. But let's say you threaded it in a 223. This would do absolutely nothing for you um, because your gases would be coming out of this way and your gun would be shooting straight down to the left. It's specifically designed to work with the design of the AK. The final option would be you have what's called a hybrid. So a hybrid would be kind of like your A2, like we talked about earlier. It's got a flash hider and a compensator. So it's controlling the direction of the gas right it's bringing the gas up and out while and left and right while still allowing some part of it to uh, control the signature of the rifle now here's the thing when you go into those combination parts you're not going to have an amazing flash hider and an amazing muzzle brake you're gonna have a good flash hider and a good muzzle brake. So if you want a combination of the two, go with a hybrid. If you're doing it strictly for sound, you're going with a muzzle brake, it's gonna be loud. So if you wanna reduce that sound of it, go to a flash hider. If you don't care about the sound, then you would wanna use a muzzle brake to control the recoil. Now, if you just wanted something to direct the sound, that's when you go into your sound deflection devices and if you want something to change the sound signature as well as the recoil you would go with something like a suppressor so i guess the final question of this to to kind of sum it all up here is why would you need a muzzle brake right why would you want your gun to be louder so if you're new to shooting and you want to be able to shoot effectively, work on your skills, but be able to manage recoil, something like a muzzle brake would work good for you. It's also going to get you used to a concussive blast and that sound as well. Something like a muzzle brake would be great for a hunting rifle because you want to be able, you don't really care about sound at that point. You care about precision. A muzzle brake will reduce the recoil of your firearm by roughly 50% give or take. So what are the downsides? So we know that flash hider 
doesn't make it as loud, right? The muzzle brake makes it loud, but controls the recoil. The hybrids do a little bit of both. These guys are just when you want to deafen your, your target. And this one is, for the most part, not a viable option for most people because they just don't want to go through the process to get one. So really, we're down to the three. The muzzle brake, the compensator, or the flash hider. Which one would you do? Essentially, it's up to you. If you're gonna use it on in indoors for self-defense, a purely self-defense weapon, I say, personally, you go with the flash hider, right? Um, a 223556 does not have a ridiculous amount of recoil. Actually, some would argue it has zero recoil at all. It has muzzle jump. If you're using target shooting, range shooting, you go with a combo or a hybrid, something that will reduce the signature as well as allow you to manage the recoil. And then if you were in a competitive shoot, I would say you go for the muzzle brake because it's all about precision, it's all about accuracy, it's all about being able to have follow-up shots. So you wanna have something that can reduce that felt recoil. Woo. Okay, so I am tired. Um, that was a lot. I probably just scratched the surface of all of this. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. I'm not a 100% expert on this, uh, but I think I've got the basics down and hopefully we're able to give you some information to help you make an educated decision on something that you may or may not have known. Let me know in the comments below too. What's your choice? What is your go-to? The other thing that is extremely important and I know I'm getting along with this video, is that every time you change out, you have to re-zero your rifle. Your zero on a flash hider is different than your zero on a muzzle brake and is different on your zero with the suppressor. So every time you change one of these out, you have to redo your zero, period. I cannot stress that enough. Don't just think that you can change it out on your bench and then go back out and everything will be the same. You will be sorely mistaken. So I'm gonna end it on that. Until next time, make sure that you practice safe weapons handling at all times and treating every weapon as if it was loaded. God bless America, G2 out.